Yo, what's going on you guys? Drum Machine Addicts is back again with another highly requested tutorial and today we are going to show you a cool trick known as half speed and another trick called double speed. So essentially whether you're working with the audio region, a track, or a program within MPC 2.0, you can take the events that are happening in that sequence track or audio and half speed them or double speed them. So that can sound a bit confusing, so let's start with the simple drum loop and we're going to build it up, then we're going to half speed it and then we're gonna double speed it, like so. Now this is what we have so far. You should recognize this. All right, cool enough. Let's see what else we can add to it. So yeah, really just going all over the place with it, right? But let's say that I think that's a little too slow. I like the tempo, but maybe I want the drums to beat a little different, right? Very simple. All you have to do is go up to edit and then change that. We're gonna go to edit. We're gonna go down to sequence. And then we're gonna double speed them. Now, just for context, before we click this, here's how it sounds. Here's how it sounds when we double speed it. Notice the events moved up too. Here. All right, so notice that loop used to be two bars, but after we hit double speed, it became one bar because it essentially took what we had before and kind of multiplied it by two, if you will. So let's go ahead and undo that. Now we're back to our original loop. All right. So that's how it sounds like regular and double speed. Now let's say we think these drums are kind of slow, but maybe they could be a little bit more groovy. So we want to half speed them. We simply go back to edit and follow the same steps. Edit. Sequence. Or in this instance, we can do track as well, right? Half speed. Now notice when we half speeded everything, the track expanded. Our two bar loop is now four bars, but since naturally we had a two bar loop at the start of the project, it's only looping that. We're gonna extend it out to four bars just for the sake of this tutorial. And press play. And as you can see, when we half speed the events, it plays much slower. Remember, this is how it sounds regular. And if we press undo a couple more times, maybe it'll take us back to the double speed events to see how that sounds. Nope, never mind. But you guys pretty much get the gist of things, right? Half speed and double speed. If you have any more questions, though, feel free to hit us up at drummachineaddicts at gmail.com with any questions. And also, don't forget to tell a friend to tell a friend to subscribe so we can hit you guys with some more dope content. And with that, we'll see you next week. Peace.